up, everybody? A little late today, a couple minutes late. Facebook decided to trick me and remove my go live button. And here is my what I was saying. Anyway, here I am. What's happening? Hope everyone is well. If you are in uh, on the East Coast, hope you are all preparing for the um, small monsoon that's going to be rolling through today. Lots and lots and lots. Good morning, Denise. Lots and lots and lots of rain. I love rain, and I freaking love you all too. So yeah, it's gonna rain a lot today. I'm excited. I love, I love. I've said it lots of times. I love gray, rainy days. Um, maybe because I'm a Pisces. I don't know, but I have a lot of things to record today in my house. So it's kind of it's great that it's raining today. It's perfect. Stella and I went for our extra long walk, extra early this morning before the rains came because my little girl doesn't even like to go out in the backyard when it's raining. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome. We're going to start with uh, this beautiful energy oracle today and just see what the, what the energy is for this Friday. What are we dealing with? Maybe there's some knowledge, wisdom, guidance that, uh, that these cards have for us today. Something to um, maybe help us through the weekend. Also, Saturday morning extended two-hour Kundalini class is back tomorrow. If you want to join me, I would love for you to join me. It's donation-based. I'll put the link in the um, in the description. I love, I love jumpers like that. Angel of Balance. How beautiful. Angel of Balance. So as we roll into the weekend, Apparently we need a little bit of balance in our life. Let's check out let's check out the book. Page 48. Or sorry, card 48. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright. Angel of balance. Being centered and self-honoring in your choices. This loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in the in front of the pyramid, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whether you feel yourself getting off-centered or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction, and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. Balance, 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 balance. It's all about balance, right? What does that mean for you? What do you need a little more balance in? Last time I took a yoga nidra class and it was pretty good. My mind though was racing the whole time thinking about all the, all of the things and ideas, creative ideas, worry, literally all of the thoughts came flying through my head. But then afterwards I was so relaxed that I decided to do like another 30 minute meditation which was great, but I kind of needed that balance. I needed that little relaxation. Even though my mind was going, my body benefited so much from, from that relaxation, from just lying. We need balance, treat yourself. Don't just, you know, continually push yourself. Do, do something nice for yourself. Do something kind for yourself. Do something sweet for yourself. Find that balance. You know, if you've been dieting and working out, maybe today eat a fucking cookie. There's a jumper. Ah, and again, cosmic connection. The cosmic connection came up earlier in the week. So we're still, we're still floating on this. Cosmic connections, who can you collaborate with? Who, uh, who can you maybe team up with and, and, and bring something special into this world, into this reality? Cosmic connections. You don't have to do this all alone. 
And from my, in my world, I do a lot of creating all, all by myself. And when I get the chance to collaborate with people, it's so much better. I mean, I'm a Pisces. I love being alone. I love doing shit by myself. But it's also fun to actually collaborate with people. And this card has been coming up so much. So be aware. Who's in your life? Who's out there that, that you might be able to collaborate with, work on a project with? Who knows? You know, what is in your heart that's saying, hey, you should do this? Know that you don't have to do it alone. This card has been coming up so much. This is a very important time for us to join forces. Bring all of our superpowers together. No need to go it alone. There are a lot of us out there. Find, find someone, team up with them, and start creating. Who knows what you will create? And maybe it'll just be fun to work on a project with somebody else instead of going it alone. I know, you know, us creatives tend to be silly, especially, you know, myself, and, and we would rather just do it all on our own, do it all on our own, do it all on our own, because we, we want it either to be our way, or, I know myself, I, I have a hard time waiting on other people, because when I dive into a project, I'm in it, and I'm working on it, and I tend to release things before they should be released, because I'm just so excited about them. And I know I need to work with other people because it'll help keep me grounded and it'll help keep me focused and it will slow me down. It will slow me down. Yeah, I love the alone time. I love, I love it. Um, so obviously this, this, you know, lockdown, quarantine, all that stuff, it really hasn't been that big of a deal for me because I, I like being alone. Anyway, we are being asked to find some balance today and come back to those cosmic connections. Who can you connect with? And maybe there's just someone out there that just has a little bit of help or advice or support for you. Reach out, ask for help. That's also been coming up so much this week um, with spirit guides and stuff. That, you know, they're there, our spirit team is here, but if you're not asking them to come help you, they're not gonna come help you. We all have our spirit team, but they're just gonna hang out in the background until you say, hey guys, it's time to step up. So I've literally been making it a point every morning when I'm meditating to connect and invite my spirit guide in, spirit guides in with me for the day. And I tell them it's time to step up, step the fuck up, team. It's go time. And I literally invite them into my day to be with me throughout the day so that they can step up whenever they feel I need some help. All right, so let's see what our Starseed Oracle has for us to go along with our Angel of Balance cosmic connection and last card from the star seed it is force don't follow pave a new path be the lit leader you wish you had pave a new path be the leader you wish you had look at how beautiful these cards are gorgeous and if, if you didn't know, I'm giving away this whole deck of cards. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, forge. Don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Conscious connections. Maybe when you find that connection, you actually step up and you be the leader. You be in charge. Instead of just following, you take control of the reins. All right, let's see what this, what this says. Forge. Don't follow. Forge, don't follow. I wish all oracle cards were numbered. All right, forge, don't follow. Page 68. When my oracle deck comes out, the cards will be numbered. I don't know when my oracle deck is coming out, but it's coming. I started the, the, the selection process of images. Some point, someday, I'll have my own deck. All right, page 68, forge, don't follow, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. If you wait until the path is perfectly paved, you won't be for foraging on your own path, forging your own path. You will, you'll likely not even take the first step. Don't let small details like being unable to find someone to show you the way be the reason you don't step forward and lead. Let it be the reason that you do so. The most courageous and needed leaders are the ones who don't wait for permission 
or until the morning they wake up feeling ready. They take a deep breath, put one foot in front of the other, and figure it out as they go. They don't wait for someone to lead them. They lead themselves. This is a card for leaders. You, you're here to pave a path that hasn't been walked before. To go first, lead the way for others who are calling you in. If you feel misrepresented in the media, step forward for all those who also feel misrepresented. If no one's speaking out on a topic you feel passionate about, share your unique voice. There's no one on earth who comes close to possessing your unique contributions of skills, gifts, and life experiences. Don't look to those who have come before you to work out your path. Leaders must forge their own. Do it for your daughter. Do it for your younger you. Do it for the leaders who will follow. When you go first, you make it easier for others to follow your lead. Forge, don't follow. Follow, 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 follow. Stop following. Stop it. Stop blindly following along. Blaze your own trail. 2021, my Oracle deck should come out. Yes, it'll definitely be 2021. Not enough time in 2020. But it's coming. So, so, you know, blaze your own trail. What does that mean? Are there people in your life that are saying, hey, you can't do that? Then you probably should do that. I love taking the, the people that say, hey, Joe, you can't do that. And I use that as fuel to get me going, to keep me going. Like, no, no, I'm going to show you that I can do that. Mostly because you said I can't. Blaze your own trail. Do what you feel you've been put on this earth to do. Be the leader. You're a leader. Even if you don't think you're a leader. Lead by example. Lead by being a nice person. Lead by being kind. This always comes up a lot. Don't try to evangelize. Don't try to preach to people. Just lead. Lead by example. Be a good fucking person. And that will inspire other people to be good people as well. So, this Friday before the monsoon comes, you're being asked to find some balance in your life. Whatever that means. Find a balance. Maybe it's balance within this meat suit. Maybe you need to go to bed a little bit earlier and wake up a little bit earlier. Maybe you need to eat better. Maybe you need to eat three times a day. Uh, three times a day. Find balance, whatever that means for you. And then look around. Who's around you? Who might be able to be on your team in this physical plane. You know, we have our spirit guides that are here, but who can you connect with? Who can you collaborate with to create something awesome, to bring something amazing into this world? And whatever you're bringing into this world, maybe it's only for you and seven other people, but do it. Connect, find your team here and start creating. Create something that will help uplift the world around you and blaze your own trail. Stop following. Stop blindly following along. And do what is inside your heart. Do what your soul is screaming for you to do. And most likely that will scare the shit out of you. But do it. And if you're afraid to do it alone, guess what? Ask for freaking help. Find your team. And find some balance. And do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And see what happens. Maybe you fail. But if you fail, you're learning. So who gives a fuck? Just do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Thank you all for being here with me today. You'll hear me say this until the 19th. I'm giving this deck away. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's just joelongo.com slash you. Nope. YouTube.com slash joelongo. Um, tomorrow, two-hour extended kundalini practice is back. We are going to be doing a lot of transformational breathing. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get really high on our own breath. I would love for you to join me. That's in the Zoom room from 9 to 11 a.m. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Audrey. Everybody have a great weekend. Stay safe. If you are on the East Coast, stay dry. Create something. Find a balance. Find your team to connect with, to create with. You don't have to do it alone and blaze your own fucking trail. I'll talk to you all tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we will be, it'll be a later reading post class. So I'll probably be a little loopy because I tend to be a little loopy after the two hour class. 
I hope I see you in the Zoom room tomorrow. Have a great day. Do something inspiring and creative today. I dare you. I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. How about that? See what happens. Forge your own trail. Blaze your own trail. Stop following. You got this. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow.